I have to admit, I'm kind of mad at myself for spending $40 on literal liquid. I mean, it's just too bad that it's really, really good. Like, so good. Thumbs up if uh, you agree with me. I have never bought the big size. I've only ever bought, like, the mini size. It's, like, I don't know, $17 or $18. But let me know what you think. I love it. Hey guys, so the weekend is now pretty much over. I actually still have tomorrow off. Um, basically, me and Kyle got home from being at my brother's and my parents dropped us off at our place and ugh, just like dry skin in my hair. Anyways, um, and then I actually get picked up by two of my friends and I went to the gym. So last night, I think, we watched the fight, obviously, because that's going to be in this vlog before this. Um, and, I mean, it was good. Uh, but we had to wait up. Oh, my God. We didn't go to bed until, like, 2.30. And I stayed up till 3 because I was, like, watching YouTube videos because I'm ridiculous. And then, obviously, my brother has two, you know, little babies. Well, I mean, my, nie my niece is two. Um, and my nephew is just turned one. Um, but anyways, they're young, so they go to bed early and they get up early. So they were up kind of late actually today, like not till like around 8.30. But I mean, we didn't go to bed till 3, so we got like barely 5 hours of sleep. Like it was just like, ugh. So then we had to drive back home, um, which took a few hours. And then, yeah, I went to the gym um, and now I'm here. It's almost 11 o'clock and I am super pooped. I am so glad that I'm off tomorrow, like I think I already said, I'm just like really tired and like kind of delusional. Um, but exciting things tomorrow, um, I'm getting my Morphe package, $30 for shipping, I paid $36 for international priority. And so it's coming like super duper fast, August 27th, and it's going to be here tomorrow. So they shipped it Thursday and I'm getting it that like following Monday so that is awesome so I have that to look forward to and then I'll just be doing errands and stuff the rest of the day hopefully I do get to sleep in that is what I'm like most excited for uh yeah so because I will be home tomorrow I'm probably going to continue this vlog into tomorrow so that would be fun so I'll probably see you tomorrow
Hey guys. Ah, look what I got, look what I got. It's my Morphe order. It was supposed to come this morning and it's here this morning. The guy almost didn't freaking give it to me. He like had the box in his hand and he was like, you owe, you know, duties and taxes and whatever. And I was like, oh, I paid them last night. Like I called the number. They had already given, given me a call and said that I needed to pay it and to pay it like before you came, blah, blah, blah. So I thought that was mandatory. I thought you had to pay it before the driver came. So I had, like, I had called and paid it last night with a credit card. Basically, he had no idea that that had even happened. So please tell me where that gets lost in translation, where, like, the company doesn't tell the driver that I've paid the money that I owe. I had to, like, bring up my email and show him that I had paid the 36 17 whatever, and then he even still said he was like, this doesn't seem right, but, like, I'll give you your package because it's showing that you paid 36 17 Like, it's not his fault. I understand he's trying to do his job, but, like, that's aggravating for me as a customer, um, even though that has nothing to do with Morphe. Like, that has to do with FedEx. Anyways, I haven't opened it yet. I'm literally about to open it right now. I'm so excited. So... I had said in whatever video that I had told you guys I ordered from Morphe, I ordered with a, like a girl that I know, one of my friends, and so there's some of her stuff in here, and then obviously some of mine as well, so I'm just, I'm going to show you what stuff I got because I'm so excited. So it came with this because I did buy the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow palette collaboration. So first thing I see is actually my friends, this is a bronzer stick, so it won't be you know, opening that up or anything. And then I see all of my brushes, which I'm not gonna open right now. I'll just like show you guys which ones I got. So I got the E18. I got the M439. I got the M213. I got lots of small detail brushes because I heard that their brushes were so good. Oh, this one's like especially freaking tiny. This is the M148. Then I got the E8. And then I got three of the Gilded, I believe, the G. So this is Y14. Beautiful looking brush. This is the Y18, yeah, Y18, big size difference on those two, and then the Y11, which looks stunning as well, so I'm so excited to try those out, so excited, so that's that, and then we have the three palettes, the so two of hers, obviously, like I said, I spent most of my money on the brushes. So her two are these. This is this is the 35B, which is kind of like emerald tones, um, all qu like quite dark and just. I'll open it up really quick. I also want to make sure they're not shattered before I give it to her. Oh, oh, I don't want to mess it up. So it just looks like this. Stunning, not touched. So she got this. I thought it was a little bit darker. Colors are beautiful, but I thought there was like a lot more darker tones. Half of it is quite light. But anyway, she should be uh, very happy with that. They look they look really pretty. Yep, yeah, so that one is good to go. Love that. I'm going to put it right back in its packaging so I can deliver it to her unharmed and completely safe. So we'll put this back in the box. Mm, the box smells good. And I'm going to do the same thing with her other palette just because I, again, want to make sure that it's not shattered or anything. And I'm completely putting them back into their nice packaging and all that. So then the other one she got is called the 20 Concealer, I guess, because it's a concealer palette. This one does not come bubble wrapped. I'm assuming it's because it's creamier products. So this is what that one looks like. And, oh, the, the little, uh, the doe foot applicator had, like, moved around. Let's just set that back in there. And this is what this looks like. Tons of different shades, some color correctors on the side. Very nice, quite large pans. Um, pretty, pretty decent sizes, so that's good. 
And again, I'm just gonna put it back in all nice and soft to hand deliver to her. So that's awesome. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This one's mine, I can do whatever I want with it. So this is my Jaclyn Hill palette. And this is what the back looks like. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I've never held a Morphe palette. They have them at stores near me, but they don't have like all the palettes and anyways. So this is what it looks like. Morphe times Jaclyn Hill in the back. Ooh, I'm excited. No wonder people get this dirty. The like feeling to it is like, no. Okay, it's beautiful. I'm excited. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my God, I love it. I knew there was a lot of warm mattes, which I love, but there's like even more than I thought that there was like from watching stuff online. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I want to put my fingers in it so bad, but I'm not going to. I'm going to film a video probably literally right this second. Um, I'm living for this dead center middle row I almost touched one and this color looks literally beautiful let's look at some names what color is that 24 7 this guy um buns is beautiful fireworks is beautiful hunts is beautiful faint is beautiful obviously this little bottom corner here perfect obsessed is beautiful also kind of digging creamsicle there and queen and cran apple I'm just really freaking excited to use this. I literally can't wait. I spent a lot of money. Like, I spent like $140 on the brushes and this to get this here. So, I mean, this for Canadians and anyone who lives out of the continental U.S., this costs way more than $38. Just putting that out there. And I would like to, like, directly send out a message to Morphe make your international shipping a little bit freaking cheaper we already have to pay duties on top of it like i've had to spend you know another forty dollars just to get this into my hands so in total we spent 250 dollars on this stuff shipping buying it you know exchange rate and duties and i mean there's quite a bit of makeup here but like it just doesn't make like this is supposed to be like affordable really good makeup and it makes it not affordable so it makes me not want to like jump back on and buy three more palettes if I love it because it cost me you know another hundred and forty dollars to get that here <sighs> end of rant I love what I got I'm really excited to use all these things like I'm not like dissing the company I'm totally into the company or at least I think that I am I haven't tried anything from them but I'm super excited to um making shit fall everywhere but that's just like a thing. Like I'm sure that lots of people agree with me. There's so many people. I'm in like a Facebook group. I'm talking so fast. I'm so excited. Um, I'm in a Facebook group. And we had this like thread going of everybody who had bought the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I had like mentioned that I was nervous to, um, I was nervous to get it and see how much my customs were going to be. And I like, I had thought it was going to be like another $70 because we had spent $200 on the order. I just thought that's the way that it was going to be. Thank God it wasn't. Thank God it was only 36. It was like half of what I thought it was going to be. But I mean, imagine spending $200 on this makeup and then having to spend another $70 to get it in your hand. Like that is just disgusting. And that's what the fear is. That is what the problem is. If companies would cover the customs and duties, I would pay the 30s because the $36 for shipping because that would be 100% worth it to me knowing that I would not have another charge on top of that. So companies need to like think about that a little bit more because on that thread there was countless people that were saying you know I want to order it so bad I want to have it in my hands but it's already so expensive to get it to me here in Canada and then you know customs on top of that I just can't do it. What if it ends up being you know another $50 like it's just too much. So, companies, hear me, hear me. Um, I'm just lazing around. I did a bunch of cleaning, and I'm now just waiting for Kyle to get home, and then we're going to make supper. So, I might show you guys some of that, but I mean, really, my activities for the day are over because I didn't even do any. So, hopefully, you enjoyed my haul from earlier, um, my Morphe stuff, because that was definitely the excitement for the day. Yeah. Makeup is still going real strong, though. I did it, like, mm, seven hours ago. Makeup! Ooh, ooh. I did get, like, one video film, too. Like, I did, like, my whole tutorial on this look, so... 
that will be up probably not this week but next week so that's exciting as well